it actually kind of looks like, I don't know, like a blood almost. But it's not, so we're going to put it in our hand. And watch it. Disappear. Disappear. So that is a fun little chemistry experiment and how you can make disappearing ink. Hey everyone, today the assistant's going to make what? Disappearing ink. That's right, disappearing ink. Have you ever seen disappearing ink? Well, you are today. Okay, so, so are you ready to start making it? We're gonna make two kinds. We're gonna make blue, and we're gonna make pink. So the first thing we do is we gotta put some water in one of our test tubes. So we have some water right here. So she's just gonna pour uh, about half full of water. Notice she's wearing gloves and she's got a face mask. That's enough water. Okay. So uh, what she's gonna do now is put the indicator fluid in it. Okay? So I think this color is blue. So this is gonna be for blue. And so what we're doing is this will test the pH of water. And if you do it right, it'll actually make disappearing ink. Is that good? That's good. Okay, so put the top on it. And put the top on the test tube. And this is our first step for making our disappearing ink. Right. All right. So what we're doing is we're making an indicator to show if it's a base or if it's an acid. Okay. So this part right here is not too, is not bad at all. So you can see right here, so I'm going to put you in focus. And is it, what color is it, people at home? If you can kind of tell, it's a little bit milky, but not real bad. All right, so I'm going to give it back to the assistant, and she's going to take the top of it back off. Okay, and she's going to put it back in the test tube holder. Oh, you don't need to balance it there. And then let's move this right here so it's not bumped. All right, so this step is she needs to put her mask down. Because this is sodium hydroxide. And make sure your parents help you with this and that they really understand how to use it. So the assistant's wearing her lab coat, latex gloves, and a face mask. And she's going to take one little drop and put it in the test tube. And watch what happens right away. One drop. Don't put it against the side. Drop it right in the middle. That's enough right there. All right, so why don't we hold the... You hand me the lid to it the test tube. All right, people at home. Do you see the colors changing on it? So what happened is we made this, we're lowering, or raising the pH of it. So that is made, turning it blue. We shake it up, and now we got a blue liquid. All right? All right, so this is our blue ink. Now watch what happens when we just expose it to the air. Okay, assistant, so now, you're wearing gloves. Let's just use your sleeve a little bit. So pour just a little bit here on your sleeve, right here. Make sure you don't get it into that glass. So it kind of turns blue, and then it goes away. Right. So I'll show you at home real close. And then next we're gonna make pink disappearing ink. So see how it's blue? I'm gonna pour it into my hand, and we measured it to make sure that it's okay. This is why you have to make sure you have your parents. See, and it just turns into nothing. So let's see, I wanna show you that it's actually blue. See how it's actually blue? And then it just turns into nothing, clear. And since it show your sleeve. It's clear. So that's how we make blue disappearing ink. And if we show a paper towel, we'll, we'll show you how it all disappears. So we got a paper towel. So that which color do you think you're going to like better, the blue or the pink? I don't know. We could mix them. We might even mix them. So here's the paper towel. Now watch. Look, it's blue. See how it's blue? And then watch. As it mixes with the air, what happens is it forms carbonic acid, which actually lowers the pH back down to 7. And when it does that, it actually, the indicator goes away and it becomes clear again and the ink is gone isn't that cool yeah all right so that's our blue so we'll save the rest of it for later we can play lots of fun tricks with, with that so now let's go ahead and do the pink so we need some more distilled water so i'll get you that so hand me the the, the graduated cylinder which is what this is called and we're just gonna put a little water in the cylinder okay i actually put probably more than we need that's okay all right assistant i'll pour that into a test tube is that good? Fill about half full. 
That's perfect. Okay. And now we're going to put the indicator in it. Okay. So this is, the first one was final Thionomopolis or something. And then this one is a pH. I can't pronounce them. They're, they're really big chemistry words. So this one actually forms a more of a milky color. Is this good? One more squirt. All right. Now put the switch back on and then we're going to put the stopper back in the test tube. And now we're going to make pink invisible ink. You keep getting your fingers caught in there. <laughs> Silly. Okay. All right. So let me see it. And then we're going to show the people at home. And look, you can actually see it right there. Look. If you look, you see the layer right there? That is the indicator that she put in. And when it mixes with the sodium hydroxide, it's going to actually turn pink. So let's shake it up. And now, see how it looks like milk? Isn't that silly? Just a little bit clearer. So now it looks like milk, right? Does that look like milk? Is it pink? Do you see any pink in it at all? I don't. So all we're going to do now is we're going to raise the pH by adding the sodium hydroxide. It'll turn pink. And then when it's exposed to the air, once again, it'll, the carbon dioxide in the air will form a basic acid, lower the pH, and turn it back to pink. Clear. It's pink right now, so it's a goose. Oh. So she added a drop. Did you add just one little drop? Yeah. All right, so we're using one molarity sodium hydroxide. So again, that's kind of a... And look, now it's pink. It's really bright pink too, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna put this a little bit. Now, since we just used a drop, it won't hurt your skin. Now, you'll know if it's too much because it actually becomes very slippery. Isn't that silly? It becomes slippery. So there's our pink. You see it in my hand. I'm gonna hold, give this to the assistant. And let me see if I can show you. Watch it change colors back to being clear. So I'm just gonna roll it around in my hand a little bit. And as it exposes to the air, it loses its color. You see, it's still got a little bit of pink to it. And now, it's all gone, all clear. Super cool, right, Assistant? Right. So we made disappearing ink that's pink and blue. Do you want to pour some on this paper towel and see what it looks like? Both? Just do the pink first, and then we can mix some if you'd like. Okay. So here's the paper towel. Whoa, look at that. And watch it just magically vanish. So, Sister, which do you like better? Do you like the experiments with our liquid nitrogen, or do you like the experiments with our disappearing heat? I think I like the liquid nitrogen, because you're going to do more stuff. That's right, because you, you were able to make that frozen cereal, weren't you? Yeah. So let's give it a little air. Blow on it a little bit even. And you see it's faded already, right? And as more air touches it, the, fa the fainter it will get. All right, sister, now are you ready to mix the two? Yeah. All right, so let's get ready. And she's gonna make, mix the pink and the blue. Do I just pour it in like that? Oh, I would pour, you could pour the pink, the blue right into the pink, I think. I would put, them all, put it all the way down into the holder. All right, now pick up the blue and put it in. There you go. Yeah, you don't need to pick them, pick them both up. Now watch the color. What do you think is going to happen, people at home? All of it? Uh, just a little bit more. Is that good? Sure. <laughs> all right. That's all of it. So it just turned a little different color pink. She can take it and then stir it, shake it up, and we'll see if it disappears too. Oh, my stuck on my hand again. Oh, her gloves are a little bit too big. All right. So it, it, it just became like a little darker, didn't it? And clear. I think it was just as clear as it is before. So here we go. Do you see it? What do you people at home think? Do you think it got clear? Or more pink? Or actually, assistant, now it looks probably more red than pink, doesn't it? Yeah. It actually kind of looks like, I don't know, like a blood almost. But it's not, so we're going to put it in our hand and watch it disappear. disappear. So that is a fun little chemistry experiment and how you can make disappearing ink. Now, assistant, do you think parents should help kids make it? Yes. Definitely. Because the water and the, the 
indicator vials, they're not very dangerous. But the sodium hydroxide, you got to have a parent to, to use that, right? Right. Very, very important. All right, everyone. So we hope that you had fun. Right. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Check out our other experiments with liquid nitrogen, too, right? Right. Bye, everyone. Bye. World's biggest squish. Hey, should we get a marker? And we should decorate it, right? Right. <laughs> hey, assistant, what are we going to do today? Make our own gigantic squishy. Like this one right here. No, it's going to be as big as this whole tub. It might even be bigger. How are we going to make our squishy? With, I'm going to put this squishy in. We're going to donate a squishy in. So we're going to put squishies inside of our squishies. This squishy. So we got one chemical. One chemical. And then another chemical right there. And we're gonna mix them together with food what food coloring and make a squishy. Hey, what color should we make? Blue! You wanna make a blue squishy? Wait, purple. We can make we got yellow, green, or blue. <gasps> yellow, green, or blue. So, yeah, I like your idea of blue. Yeah, I like the idea of blue. So we're gonna use blue Wait, food coloring. What about red? Because strawberries are red. So we're gonna use red. She changed her mind. Okay, let's show everybody how we make it, okay? Okay. Okay, assistant. So first, we've gotta add our first chemical. So this is our Polytech Polyfoam Castable Foam. So what this is, is just for making a squishy. So we open it up, and I'm gonna pour some in. Ready? Ready. So we gotta do equal parts of... Both. So both, that's right. So we're gonna put it in. It looks like corn syrup. It does look like corn syrup, right? Oh, so let's see. A little bit more. All right, ready? Ready. Now we gotta put our, you know, let's make it all. Let's just see what happens if we put it all in. Uh, you yeah. think we just put it all in? I don't know, but maybe. We're just gonna put all of it in. Whoa, look, so sister, do you see the bottom of it? Look at it. All right, so one's in. Now we're gonna put the other one in. Ready? Oh, 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 look at this! Is it glue? It kind of looks it like. It looks like. Okay, glue. assistant, put the food coloring in. No, don't turn it off. Did you I turn it off? Turn. Okay, so now the assistant's gonna put the food coloring in. Should I put all of it? Sure. The people at home, we're yeah. making a giant red squishy. What do you think? Oh, assistant. There you go. I think you're uh, spilling I've got some. I it all. That's all. <laughs> all right, so here. Whoa, have I, what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea we're making it so big? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going to start mixing it. Then we're going to let the assistant mix it for a while. And then we're going to start making our giant squishy. Okay. You want to finish pouring it in? Sure. Here, you, you can hold the camera and pour it. So oh. here you go. Just leave it right over there. So the assistant's going to pour. And I'm going to use this yardstick and start to mix it. Ooh, look at this. It's like, this is like we're making a squishy factory, right? Right. Assistant, maybe we have too much squishy juice in here. Do you think we got too much squishy juice? Yeah. What happens if we make too big of a squishy? Wiggles, what are you doing? Wiggles wants to see our squishy too. Yeah. All right, so that's not going to see if we got any more of this. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, so... So we're still mixing it. All right, so I think that's good. That's the wind is blowing it that way. All right, ready? So mix, mix, mix. Oh, look at it, look at it. Look at all of it. I really want to mix it. You want to mix it? Okay, yeah, you it mix it. Yeah, it's like gummy bear mix. So you're mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. Oh, Wiggles is looking at you mixing it. Whoa. It looks like gummy bear mix. It does, but it's going to start to get really, really big pretty quick. Yeah, it's going to start to expand. It is already expanding. It's just that we made way, way too much. Too much. Yeah, gonna I don't make even it. know if it's going to fill up that. It's going to be way huge. Okay. Oh, it's coming. Oh boy, we might have to make two. So now we're oh, going to put, put it in. We're going to pour it in. Here, I'll help you, assistant. I'll help. Uh, so she's got her squishies in. And look, oh, we're pouring it. Whoa. We're pouring. All right, hey, assistant, go get me that rule of that yardstick. He walked right in front of the camera. Sorry. Here we go. Let me see. So people at home, we're making the world. This is going to be a really big squishy. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. 
Now we're just gonna watch it grow, okay? Okay. Can we stir it up more? I don't think so. I think we just need to let it watch it grow. Okay. Keep going. So we're gonna watch our squishy grow. This could be my like my pillow. It could be. By look at how big it is. And Wiggles is so excited. <laughs> Wiggles is like, I wanna play. Oh, Wiggles. That's it. Assistant, it's still growing. If you see jello for the first time, it's jiggly. So now it's growing, Assistant. Uh. Are you excited? Yeah. Now, people at home, what we're doing is we're making a special kind of polymer. Yeah. By it's adding so fun. two different pieces and letting it grow. Right. And then it takes it a couple hours to cure, and then we're gonna take it out and see how big it is. Uh huh. Are you excited? Right, and you can even dye it. Yeah, so like see, we made it. What? Let's red. show the people at home. We made it kind of like a pinkish red, right? Right. And all we used was food coloring, right? Right. It's getting warm. That's because it's an what they call an exothermic reaction. So when it actually makes the squishy, it generates heat. Did you know that? No! Okay, that's called an exothermic re reaction. People at home, can you say exothermic? Go exothermic. And that means it gives off heat. <laughs> All right. Now, assistant, should you touch it? No. No, touching it would be a really bad idea, right? It will stick to you. Yeah, so you got to make sure that you don't touch the squishy. Right. Okay, assistant, I think it's expanded as much as it, it, it's going to expand, right? Right. Okay, so what color is it? Red. It looks kind of pinkish. It's kind of a pinkish color, right? And, but it's not completely what they called cured. So right now it's really sticky. Let me show you. So before a smushy becomes super soft, it becomes real sticky. So if we wanted to, right now we could decorate it. We could put little eyes in it, and you could put like a nose. But look, see how it's kind of sticky? But it's tough, right? You wanna hit it? You're right. Wow, isn't that neat? Whoa, good job, whoa, whoa. Wait, ready? I'm gonna make an eye. Oh, she's pushing so hard. Uh. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the squishy out of the tub and show you what it looks like. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. All right, assistant. But we're gonna take that out and then we're gonna show the people at home. Okay, let's do it. So, assistant, what do you have? The squishy. Just throw it to me. Oh, oh I've got it. <laughs> and look, we've got the squishies in the bottom. Yeah, there's, there's still squishy. All right, ready, assistant? Ready to catch the squishy? Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's such a big squishy. Ready to throw it to me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, assistant, here it is. Hold it up like that for everybody to see. Ready? I love the bottom. So it's got a little grass on it because it's still a little sticky, right? I love the bottom. It smells really squishy right there. And look, it looks like a giant pillow, right? Right. Okay, you want to give it a big hug? Oh, look at the big, she's hugging the world's biggest squishy. Hey, should we get a marker? and We should decorate it, right? Right. My shirt's stuck. <laughs> so that's the world's biggest squishy. Now, people at home, have you ever made squishies before? Throw it here, so sit. Give me a good throw. Oh, oh, I'll catch it. Look, so here it is, right? So like it's, it's all so soft on the sides. Look at how soft it is. Wow. That's how hard it is. And look, there's a squishy inside of it. Yeah, we, it's so cool. We put squishies inside of our squishies. Ready? I'm not gonna throw it that hard. Okay. <laughs> here you go, sis. You can take it. <laughs> okay, everybody at home. What do you think? Let's get a marker. Yeah, you think the assistant should decorate the world's biggest squishy? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go decorate that squishy, okay? Okay. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the engineering family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade? Masha, there are so many videos to watch. Bye!